Young people have more liberal attitudes to drugs, especially when it comes to cannabis. Still, public support for Singapore's anti-drug policies is strong. Those are the findings from the first poll of its kind that the Home Affairs Ministry carried out last year. Ariel Lim with more. Some are swayed by pro-cannabis messages from other countries. Others took the drug on overseas exchange programs, where they're easily available and legal. Psychiatrists we spoke to say they've seen returning travelers seek help for cannabis addiction. And a recent official survey shows those 30 and below could be more vulnerable. Only 68% find cannabis harmful, as opposed to 84% above 30. About 71% of those 30 and below said it had a negative impact on society. That's less than the 86% above 30 that said it did. These numbers come even as psychiatrists warn of the drug's dangers. With the increasing strains of potency of cannabis plant, uh, nowadays we know uh, quite confidently that cannabis itself uh, can lead to addiction and when addiction comes, there will be a whole host of problems associated with it. He added that the drug is associated with depression and impairs memory and reasoning. For people who are prone to or have the genes for a psychotic illness, uh, cannabis can actually trip them over and once you trip over into a psychosis, it's kind of difficult to come back. However, Dr. Winslow added that some younger patients feel that the drug had good effects. When it comes to medical benefits, authorities say there's little proof for cannabis itself and even its extracts have limited use. Its synthetic form is another concern. I think the danger of this is that a lot of people think that they can take it because then they won't get caught by the authorities. But what they don't realize is that they are actually playing more with their lives by doing that because I've actually seen people go into renal failure or actually hallucinate quite badly when they are on synthetic uh, cannabinoids. Still, the survey shows that most agreed that drugs are addictive and had a negative impact on society. More than 97% support tough laws to keep drugs out of Singapore and the current drug ban. An ex-addict who was caught twice for taking drugs including cannabis believes the deterrence works. The first time I only sentenced for one year but now I'm four years too much. It's a lot of different and I feel that I, my youth is gone. So I, I really want to change my life. I don't want to go in and out from prison for the rest of my life. His life took a turn for the better at this halfway house, where he's found a job. The survey also shows huge support for jail time for abusers. But when it came to the death penalty for drug trafficking, some one in two youths disagreed with it.